you know, we've been studying LDL now for 30 years. There are studies involving hundreds of thousands of patients, large randomized controlled trials. And the one thing that's been constant is whenever we've driven LDL to lower levels, we have seen benefits in an adequately designed, adequately sized trial. This goes back, you know, even before statins, we had that kind of data. And in fact, recently, we have seen benefits of lowering LDL to as low as 30 milligrams per deciliter. So I think it's a compelling case that lower LDL equals less cardiovascular events. Well, it turns out that the, the evidence looks pretty much across the board. Now, it all depends on the drugs you're going to use. Um, we know that higher dose statins have a somewhat higher uh, risk of adverse effects than low dose statins, but these are very safe drugs. Similarly, adding azetamide, it's another very safe drug. PCSK9 inhibitors, you know, very safe. We have pretty good data uh, from multiple trials, including some that we have run, that show that there are no real safety uh, issues with low LDLs. There may be drug-specific safety issues, but, you know, we used to say you can't be too rich or too thin. We now say you can't be too rich, too thin, or have too low an LDL. 